one of the ways in which Jordan Peterson talks about God, I mean, there, there's obviously many ways to talk about God and, you know, sometimes trying to define a concept too tightly, you lose something. Mm-hmm. You know? I am what I am, right? Mm-hmm. I think. And, um, well, one of the ways in which he talks about God the most, from what I've been able to understand, is as an abstract moral ideal. Mm-hmm. Right, so it's that thing that sits atop the hierarchy of values, and that's the ideal that you're always kind of striving towards. Mm-hmm. And there's a line that he said at some point that I thought was really deep and wise. He says, "The ideal recedes as you approach it." Right, so yeah. you're always trying to get to you know your perfect self, your best self mm-hmm. all the time, but you always fall short, and there's always room for improvement. And you know, if more people thought like that you know maybe we wouldn't be where we are today you know but it's you know just humility and goodwill and wanting what's best for you and and everyone else around you Mm -hmm. I think it's really important well that's why I always loved Christianity because I always said you know I'm not Christian because I'm perfect I'm Christian because I can admit that I'm not and that I need a savior because I can't do it by myself Mm. so to me that's what Christianity is and so many people are like but you have to do this you don't have to no I don't have to do anything I have to ask for forgiveness because I'm I messed up and I mess up every single day. And so all I can do is, you know what? I'm going to do this for my father, you know, because, you know, father in heaven. Um, but I always think to myself, you know, how would I make my mom happy? Like my mom personally, right? Mm-hmm. Well, I would want her to be proud of me. And how do I make my mom proud of me? Oh, okay, well, I'm, I'm going to do nice things for her. I'm going to clean the floors. I'm going to, you know, clean the dishes. That's going to make her happy. I'm going right. to tell her how much I love her. I do the same thing with God. I do, okay, God, what do you want me to do today? Who can I help today? Who can I bless? And who can who can you help me bless? And mm. and you know when I do something, I'm like you know I'm doing it for the glory of God, and that's it. But I know I can't do it by myself. I know I can't. And people that say they can earn their heaven, I know I can't. I would not be able to. So what does the glory of God mean to you, exactly? Mm. To someone who's not familiar with those terms or those ideas. Yeah, like glory of God just means uh, to praise God and thank him for what you have and to me the glory of God is just like his his love for mankind I think for so many years we've had this light of God as like you said this all-knowing like well of course he's an all-knowing being but like this perfect sitting on a throne kind of judging people Mm. I don't have that vision of God I see God as a complete ball of love And it doesn't mean that, you know, when we look at justice too, a lot of people are like, but what about justice? What about this? What about that? Okay, yes, exactly. And if you love your children, you're going to have justice for them, right? So for me, this this glory of God is the love that a lot of people have a hard time accepting because they're like, oh, he just wants to judge me. No, it's the opposite. He doesn't want to judge you. He just loves you for who you are. Hmm. And so... That's why when I say the glory of God, I'm like, well, you know, when people look at me and they're like, oh, what's different about her? Why is she so smiley? Why is she so joyous? Yeah. Why is she so happy? Why does she care about me when no one else cared about her? Why, why does she sit down with me for 30 minutes and talk to me? Right. And I'm like, well, I'm a Christian. That's my difference. I have the joy of the Lord in me because I love God mm. and I'm happy. I wake up in the morning and I'm happy because I have breath and I'm like, thank you, God. Right. Yeah. Just being alive is a Just, huge privilege. Exactly. Yeah. And you, like, it's always reminding you to be thankful to God of everything that you have. The little things, the big things, like things that you might think are little are huge to others. Yeah. And the more you look at that, you're like, wow. And sometimes I just leave, like, I had, like, a good coffee and I gave my mom a hug and I was like, wow, I have a mom who loves me so much. I just had the most amazing coffee. And then I ride into work and I'm like, okay, you know what? We're going to have a day. Doesn't matter what happens. We started off on the right foot. Let's, let's do this. Mm. That's how I live my life. (laughs) I think it's a very good way to live. Yeah, I try. You know, it doesn't mean life doesn't get hard. Like, I'm not living in this fluffy little bubble that nothing ever happens to me. Of course, things are going to happen to me. But you you take those challenges and, like I said, you self-reflect. Okay, why did this happen today? Mm -hmm. Or what do I have to learn from it? Because we're always learning. If you think you're done learning, you've stopped living. Yeah. 